Here we see the layout for a golden bead addition lesson. There are three trays, one for each of the add-ins and one for the sum. There is a store of beads for the students to draw upon. The store is normally kept on the shelf during this presentation. There are large and small number cards with the small cards being used for the add-ins and the large cards for the sum. Unlike most other materials, Golden Bead Edition is only done with the teacher involved. Usually two students participate, each taking responsibility for a tray of beads representing an add-in. The teacher lays out the cards for the students to match with golden beads from the store. Here the first student has brought back two units, four tens, three hundreds, and one thousand. The second student brings back nine units, seven tens, five hundreds, and two thousands. Let's listen as the teacher describes how she completes the presentation. So then in this big massive upheaval they just take it all just everywhere. So someone may think, what are they doing? What are they doing? Putting it all in there. I use two hands, massive upheaval, and then we fix it. That makes it a little bit of interest. Okay. And then here we have to find out now what we have. So the children will take turns and they'll actually do the counting themselves, always starting with the units. So we have one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six units, seven units, eight units, nine units, ten units. Stop. When you have ten units, that's the same as the children usually can reply 110. So we'll leave this one here. The child will use their tray to take this to the shelf. And it has our store in it, where our storage is. And they're going to trade it in, exchange it. 10 units, same as 110. And we'll bring them back. In our pile, and we have one unit left. We're going to get that from the large decimal cards. We started with small ones because we had each had an individual small number. Now we're going to go to large decimal cards because we put together two small idea, um, two small numbers, and now we're going to create a large one. So the child would go to the large decimal cards and get the one unit for it. And then we take a turn, and then the other child may count the tens. So here we have our answer. Let me go ahead, do the magic slide. Let's it over here. And then this is what we get into the explanation part of what we actually did. So we're going to take the first child's number and we'll say that we have 1,304 tenths and two units. And we took two thousands, five hundreds, seven tens, and nine units. And we put them together and we got one large number, which was three thousands, nine hundreds, two tens, and one unit. When you take a bunch of small numbers and put them together and get one large number. That's what we call addition. With golden bead division, the teacher again has laid out the work for three students to participate. The number 3,693 will be divided by three. She has chosen the number so that there will be no remainder as a beginning lesson. Starting with the thousands, the teacher divides them between the students. One thousand per student. Moving on to the hundreds, she divides the hundreds, resulting in two hundreds per student. Each student receives three tens and one unit. The children obtain number cards to match their golden beads, and the teacher performs a magic slide to reveal that all three have the same number. 
Finally, she lays out the original number on the rug and says 3,693 divided by three people is 1,231. The teacher concludes, when you take a large number and divide it, you get a smaller number.